So, welcome everyone again to our student and now uh, student algebraic and now foliations seminar at INPA. We have had some problems just just to be recorded forever <laughs> in the YouTube. And uh, now it's my great pleasure to introduce again my dear and monster friend, Shashao, which took the master here at INPA. And uh, again, and after, after taking his master, he took uh, another master in the University Paris Sud. And now uh, he was accepted for the PhD uh, in the Université du Québec à Montréal. And his advisor is Henri Genancia. And today, Chachal will, will speak for us about the invariance of plurid genera. So, Sha, be welcome again and um, go ahead with your seminar. Okay, thank you, Adad, for the introduction. Um, so, before I start, I want to mention that uh, um, uh, you, you can feel free to interrupt me at any time. Uh, to ask questions. Actually, it's better that way. Um, so I will continue with what I said. Uh, so, um, right, I will give some preliminary on the singular uh, Hermitian metric, then um, a brief motivation on why plural general is an uh, important uh, variational invariant. In particular, I will uh, just to mention its relation with the uh, Kodaya dimension in uh, in the case of uh, algebraic surfaces. Um, uh, after that, I will give a proof of this uh, invariance of a plural general based on the proof of uh, Professor Pong. Um, right. So I will begin now uh, to. Okay. Uh, so. The this is the main theory. Uh, we start with a smooth projective family of uh, convex manifolds. So that means uh, that means this uh, that actually just means it's a commutative diagram. Um, we have uh, each fiber they leave. We can choose them to live in a big uh, projective space P n. Um, and uh, a smooth just means that the, uh, this map pi is a submachine. Uh, because it's a submachine, we can identify the canonical bundle of the central fiber with the restricted bundle of uh, uh, kx to the x0 by this map. Um, because it's just uh, pi star is a submachine, and this will give us um, identification of the two bundles. Um, then I recall the upper semi-continuity theory due to Kodaya Spencer. So this theory told, tells us that uh, locally, um, any any section, no, 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 sorry. That, that means that locally we have uh, the upper semi-continuous uh, the dimension of the of the section is a uh, upper semi continuous sec function. So we only need to prove the other side. We only need to prove any sec section on the central fiber. We we'll extend to x to get our uh, invariance of polar general. Okay. Um, Oh, the, the other is kind of weird, sorry. <laughs> so so I, uh, the, 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 our theory is to try to prove that uh, the dimension of this dimension is called the plural general, the dimension of the a multiple of the canonical bundle. And this dimension doesn't depend, doesn't depend on T. So this is what I, we want to prove. Um, but because of the upper semi-continuous theory, we only need to show that any section on the central fiber, it extends to the whole whole space X. Okay, um, right, and uh, 
as the special case, so m equal to one uh, is a is a result uh, is a consequence of a Hodge theory. Because the Hodge theory it tells us the Betty number, uh, which is the um, dimension of the nth integral cohomology. Right, I know. It's actually the, you tensor the integral cohomology with R, that, that dimension is this Betty number. And uh, it's uh, equal the sum of uh, each component, each IJ component. Um, and uh, the upper semi-continuity theory told, that, told us that um, all those dimension, they are upper semi-continuous, but their sum are the same. So that forces them to be equal on, uh, on all fibers. Is that clear? Um, Okay, so uh, I want to mention that although our base is a unite disk, but once we prove the the um, invariance of pillar general on the unite disk is true for any smooth family for any basis, because you just can link to point by a sequence of a, a disk. Okay. Um, Okay, just give us a little preliminary to recall some basic notations. I start with a, comp a compact complex manifold of a complex dimension N and uh, a complex line bundle L. Um, uh, we had, due to the exponential, sequence of a shifts, we can have this non-exact sequence. Um, and we use this non-exact sequence to define the first chain class as uh, this induced map. Um, I need to mention that this, uh, this group is actually uh, the Picard group in this case. You, you can check that uh, using check homology. You verify the core cycle condition here will give you a line bundle. And the exact means this line bundle is a, a trivial line bundle. And uh, this C map the uh, Picard group to their first train class. Um, all right. And uh, also for each line bundle, uh, we have a, a map of the global sections uh, to PM. Uh, this is the map due to the global sections. Mm. The, the reason why um, I'm talking about the term class here is uh, the following very interesting relationship between the ampleness and the, the positivity. Because the ampleness is a, a purely algebraic uh, notation, and but uh, it in turn link with the positivity of the of the uh, such a metric on the line bundle. Okay, I, I will later explain what is a singular positive metric. Uh, any questions? Maybe you want me to explain what is ample or what is big? I don't know. Okay. Um, right. So, So I, I won't give you a general definition of what is a singular Hermitian metric, but uh, here are some very interesting examples illustrate uh, why singular Hermitian metric is very natural. Um, so we have a Fubini study metric HFS on the total logic boundary. It's just uh, um, 
I think it's just asymmetric. Um, the when you have uh, some ra rational, uh, those sigma zero until sigma m, they are rational sections of uh, uh, the line bundle L. So I did mention here. So sigma zero until sigma m, uh, the global section of the line bundle L. Um, and those will give you a rational map from X to PM. And the, the pullback, the pullback of uh, this, um, of the Fubini Studi metric along F will give you a singular metric because as you can see, uh, this map may not defined globally. So it will give you some singularity. Um, also, there, there's another way to see this uh, metric. Is that on a, a trivialization? On a trivialization, you can uh, write this, this uh, metric this way. So, so, so this uh, I think called potential is just equal to log of uh, uh, the sum of cosij square, cosij norm square here. And uh, when the uh, when those sections they are holomorphic sections, this 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 sec, uh, this map this uh, function phi will be a PSH function. And uh, that's, and uh, we will get a semi-positive metric. Uh, maybe I should uh, mention a little bit here the. Oh, oh, oh sorry. I, I actually said it later here. So the positivity here means. Uh, um, So here is a special case when the Fabini student metric is actually, you can define it in the above way. You can regard it as a metric induced by the global sections XJ. So XJ, they are a global section of the total logic bundle. Um, then Fabini student metric, they is defined by this metric and the, uh, Oh, here is a mistake. Um, right, because of the usual finished studio metric is defined this way by IDD bar of uh, this log uh, sigma xj square. And uh, um, th this metric is uh, positive in the, sen in the sense of, uh, um, in the sense that it define a positive, uh, define a Hermitian metric, but this is the one one form. Uh, I define this, at the one one is the one one form, and uh, it will induce a metric if you twist the second variable by j, by our complex structure. So that's our usual sense of uh, positivity. That means uh, your curvature form defined a uh, uh, metric, and um, that that means positive. And uh, in the case of single Singular me uh, metric is more subtle, but uh, uh, but we on, on, uh, we only need the general case. Actually, we only need uh, this construction by the 
global sections. And uh, when, when those global sections, they are holomorphic, they, they are very, you are very easy to verify they are positive. Um, and there, there is a very concrete example. I said when there's only one section. So if this metric is only defined by one matrix, sigma zero, and uh, you can't define such a metric uh, uh, in our previous way. And the, the curvature form, the, the curvature form uh, associated to this metric is uh, calculated in this way. And by Lelong Pankahe equality is exactly the divisor of this. So, so it's a, uh, this, this actually tells us that um, when you, the map, the map, the div, the div map of S, uh, you take the class, in in H two X Z it's the thing as you take the uh, cur uh, any curvature form according to the uh, so so I mean there the this just means that their class in the second uh, integral cohomology, they are the same. Uh, this, this is the non Pankahe equality. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I just want to say it's a very natural uh, thing to consider the singular metric because they naturally uh, appear when you use, when you consider the Uh, the, 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 those kind of curvature they are equal to the uh, uh, divisor. Uh, any questions? Do you know? Uh, okay. Okay, so I, here is the motivation. So here is just a motivation why people want to, it's one of the reasons why people want to consider plurigenera. Um, that's because when in the, also first in the one dimensional case, the plurigenera, the, 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 the genus, totally determinate the, the codite damage. Um, and uh, in the two-dimensional uh, manifold, the codite dimension is depend on the 12th. This is the 12th uh, general and uh, the self-intersection of the canonical bound. So you you already can tell a lot from the original. Um, and here is a historic uh, progression of uh, this theory. So no, noticeably that uh, Sue first proved the theory, assuming the general type. Um, I think because the general type means the canonical bundle is uh, positive, right? So the, this this proof uh, motivates the later proof of others, especially Pong. He simplified the uh, he he dropped the general type assumption and uh, used positivity in a more um, subtle and uh, um, complicated way to generalize the proof for a any type, not only in the general type. 
Okay. And the, this is the, the proof that I want to share with you. Now I'm gonna take the talk about this main technique of our proof. It's called Osawa Takegoshi theory. Uh, okay, so we again start with the projective family, smooth projective family. So it's just a fibration of the disk, and this pi is a submersion, and each fiber, each fiber is a uh, projective uh, manifold. Okay. Um, the second condition is the existence of a semi-positive metric positively sing singular uh, HL. And also uh, we want the L2 norm of the, the local section according to this metric is finite. So the, the, there are two conditions to verify. One is the semi-positivity of the Hermitian metric, and the second is the finiteness of the L2 norm. Then we can have the following consequence. There is a, a, an extension S cubed of S that uh, satisfies the following estimate. Right. So one one key point is that the con uh, con constant C is universal. That means that this state doesn't depend on any uh, manifold or the or the bundle. It's the, the same for all cases. Um, and it's it's very crucial the, uh, for the for our proof of the invariance of pure general. All right and. The, this theory is the first proving for the Stein manifold, and uh, I'm going to give a proof of uh, uh, this theory, assuming the theory for the Stein manifold. Okay, and uh, in this proof, you already can see why the projectivity is necessary. Um, so, so I believe this this theory in general. Um, cannot be true for any color manifold, but uh, because the, the, the proof is kind of essential, uh, the, the projectivity is kind of essential in the proof. Okay, so so I assume this theory for Stein manifold, and uh, okay. Mm. Okay, the, the idea is uh, I construct a divider on the, I construct a divisor on the manifold X and I cancel it with this divisor to reduce it uh, to a Stein manifold. Um, and moreover, the restriction of line bundle to X uh, is trivial. Right. So to construct this uh, edge, I will need to use the projectivity. So basically projectivity means uh, you have uh, an ample line bundle, right? So um, so first of all, I say that there's two ample dividers, AB and the line bundle, L is uh, equal to A minus B. The, this is actually the direct consequence of a six vanishing theory. Uh, you, if you remember, um, there are three or four equivalent characterization for ample line bundle. Why is it say that uh, uh, if if uh, a is ample, then uh, for any 
and if there there is a, a number n such such that uh, a in tensor L is globally generalized globally generated right so just use this theorem because at, um, you can you can sh sh sharp sharpen this uh, theorem to make uh, this not only globally generated but this is also an ample line bundle the uh, for example, you just see the another field this uh, positivity book. Okay. Uh, then, then I use the very ampleness of two divisor to get to the section S1 and the global section S2. Um, and the edge will be the union of the divider of S1 and the divider of S2. And uh, X minus H will be a Stein manifold because uh, it's in, uh, because, uh, because at the beginning it's uh, projective family and uh, when you okay I, I need to recall that uh, x is the inside uh, p n times d so when you When you min uh, when you minus so so this ma manifold minus a uh, close up manifold will be a Schutten manifold. Okay. And uh, the and uh, this section when you restrict it to the X minus H because it will be a, a non vanishing section. So, this is a trivial bundle. That's just a definition of a trivial bundle. Um, then we apply the Osawa Taigoshi theorem for Stein manifold on this trivial line bundle and get an extension of S. Uh, you restrict it to the, uh, the this sub manifold and uh, get to the extension on x minus h and the the l2 estimate uh, i mean just uh, this l2 norm is minus infinity will tells you you can extend s tilde to the whole manifold x Okay. Uh, any questions? Uh, sure. Uh, very fast. The disk is the disk on R two, or can be any disk? Um, just the uh, uh, disk in R two is the um right because of the just the the one with the uh, complex structure. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, so I will continue. Okay. I, I recall here. Our main theory. Uh, this part is nothing, is just uh, nothing but uh, just a holomorphic map from the pro projective family to the complex disk. 
remember that's a, that's a, the deformation I'll, we consider. Um, then we want to show any section on the restricted bundle of the, this, this pluricanonical bundle restricted to x0 can extend to the whole bundle, right? To the whole projective family x. Okay. So so the the proof is a very clever uh, induction. We'll construct a sequence of uh, sections on um, Okay, I will write here. So the idea is to construct a sec sequence of sections on the uh, PKX oh, no. on the P plus KM kx plus a so a is the ample line bundle um to and then take take a limit Because those those, uh, those those sections we construct will give you a sequence of uh, semi-positive metric, and when we take uh, the limit, when we take a limit, this part, the um, this conf configuration part, I, I don't know how to call it. Is uh, this additional part A uh, will disappear when we take a limit, and this part will disappear and then we will get a semi-positive metric. Metric on MKX. Okay. So I uh, start with the, the ground for the induction. Um, it's again the sex, sex vanishing theory tells us there is an ample line bundle such that uh, we have the global generalization for all the all those bundles for p from zero to m minus one m minus one. Um, Okay, so those sections, they satisfy the global generalization. And uh, then th there's the notation, I say that HA is any Hermitian metric. It's any Hermitian metric on, on A. And uh, uh, there, there's a Hermitian form omega. And and uh, the you twist the omega, you get uh, the Hermitian metric H omega, and those two omega, those two metric, will induce a metric on the tensor line bundle. You see, it, when 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 you have a multi multiple time of uh, kx, the um, H omega will automatically induce a metric here. You just uh, uh, you, you, you see here it's for for example it's just it's one tensor is two tensor blah 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 the h omega here is h x times h omega is two tensor yeah it's a, it's a not a very crucial point but it's like that okay um. Okay, then the four, 
the following theory is uh, uh, a new question until now. Um, okay, I will go on. Okay, as I said, we want to construct a sequence of global sections and on the bundle, on this bundle P plus Km times the canonical bundle plus the ample line bundle A, right? By our construction, is uh, uh, is already constructed for p from zero to m, m minus one, and uh, when a, m uh, when k is zero is uh, by our construction, by our construction, and uh, the the theory uh, we want to construct those sections su such that the it it restrict to a, x zero is the Sigma k tensor with the one uh, we constructed before, and uh, the second condition is uh, uh, this L L two estimation. So, so basically, here sigma j is j p plus k in plan minus one this uh, gives a Um, P plus K M minus one. Okay, yes. so the th this is uh, the example we I explained at the beginning. So, uh, uh, when when those sections they are holomorphic sections. Um, and this construction uh, will give you a semi-positive metric on the line bundle. Uh, any questions? Okay, so I, now I will prove this uh, theorem. Sorry, it's very, <laughs> there are a lot of notations, so probably I need to recording so to make you remember from 10 to 10. Uh, I start with this max soup. So, so the soup is over the manifold for for this division and for this fraction. This fraction is the, the HP zero norm of the SJP. So, so those sections are the one for our induction induction ground. Uh, the our induction ground from our induction ground, and uh, you take a soup over the smooth family. So our smooth family is uh, not necessarily a clo closed manifold. In general, you, you may not get a soup, a soup supreme. But it's okay. You can shrink the disk to get to make it bounded. Is it bigger? bigger uh, they explained that your uh, invariant, your deformation basis can be changed. You can link any two point by a sequence of disks. 
So here you can uh, shrink the disk in order to get a bound C1. Um, for, for any PQ, then, then I use uh, this uh, uh, this bound C1 to this is just a direct sequence consequence of the above uh, bound because the, the C sigma k sigma k they will cancel each other and uh, the other part will give you will be exactly this C1 and you will have a, a new constant C2. Mm. Right, then now I want to use the osawa takagoshi theorem. You see, um, this, this is one of the conditions for the osawa takagoshi theorem, the, the one, uh, the autonorm is finite. This is one of those Lava Tagigoshi theory. Uh, also, also this, this, those global sections will give us a singular semi-positive metric on the line bundle. Um, and uh, and uh, oh, oh, um, the, the, this is the L2 norm. This is the L2 norm under this metric. So this is the metric and it's finite. Then by the Osawa Takagoshi theorem, uh, we can extend the, we can extend this uh, uh, sigma k tensor with is j to the p can be extends to the um, to a global section is p plus k m of uh, k m plus p k x plus a. And we also have the following uh, estimate. So those global sections, they satisfy this uh, estimate. Uh, that's a proof of this theory. Uh, uh, any questions? Maybe some part is no clear, I can repeat. I don't know. Uh, okay, I will continue. Uh, So this way we construct uh, a sequence of uh, global sections on the line bundle uh, mkx plus uh, a. And now, now we want to take the limit to, to construct a metric on mkx. So we, we we now have a sequence of metric on the uh, m k x plus a. So now we want to take a limit for those metrics to get a metric on here, in order to get rid of the uh, get rid of this ample line bundle. Okay. Um, uh, first of all, I did 
denotes is a function of p pk as a log of the uh, L2 norm of those global sections. And by the concavity server property of logarithm and the Jensen inequality, we will get uh, And we will get uh, this inequality. The integral of f uh, this of this thing over the manifold is is bounded by by a, a constant. And in total, we will the uh, f zero k. So f zero k is a, is a sum of of those um, subtractions, subtractions, and they will be bounded by mk of this constant plus another constant. And then we have uh, some conclusions. So first of all, um, so you if the, this thing divided by k will be smaller it will be smaller than a constant constant um, because of the, this inequality uh, also if you look at the curvature defined by the metric so this is metric h zero k times the exponential uh, of 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 this thing is is exactly um, our metric defined by the sigma of the, the those whole thing and this curvature will be equal um, How do I get this? All right. So so here is uh, is a, just the definition of how it, for compute the curvature form. Um, you take the log log of the of the uh, of the L two norm according to this metric, and uh, when you take a log over this part, you will have a, uh, you will use IDD bar of the of the weight function, and uh, the other two uh, are according to the H zero k, and this is a semi positive. Um, yeah, because the whole thing is a semi positive matrix as I explained in the first example. So the curvature form will be greater or equal to zero. Okay. Um, and on the central fiber, we will get uh, the following equality. Yeah, this is just a definition of the uh, of the FPK, right? The, the actually the the uh, first uh, 
first the relation between the global section and the, the local section. So when you restrict to the fiber, in the uh, sigma to the power k tensor with the SJP. So sigma is the local section that we want to extend in the beginning. So we want to it's uh, the section we want to extend. Mm. Okay, so everywhere was I? Okay, now I have those three three properties for F zero K, and uh, those three properties will give us. Um, the desired property for the limit. Now we take the uh, lim soup of the one over k of f zero k, and we take we take the upper semi continuous envelope over the limit. This this is the limit. Uh, this is the uh, technique term. So when you take the upper semi-continuous envelope, we will, um, in the end, you will get a PSH function here. You will get a quasi uh, PSH function here. And uh, you will have the We will accordingly have the three property um, from the three. You just take limit of them, and you will get uh, this one. The, the so so the so first one will tell you the h omega times this. E minus f infinity is uh, semi positive. This, uh, this is uh, one condition, one assumption of the Osawa Takeguchi theorem. And uh, also, the restriction of uh, f infinity on the central fiber has this uh, equality. And then you integral, uh, you take an exponential and integral it's on the central fiber, it will uh, be bounded. So th this is the other, the other Assumption of the Osawa Tagoshi theorem and uh, that will um, conclude the proof. Any question? Sorry, I, I know it's very analytic and uh, a lot of symbols, so maybe <laughs> very confusing. So, so I, I, my, my, that's what I, I want to talk. So I guess now is time for questions. Uh, Sha, uh, the time for questions, uh, we can do it in the final of your talk, but with one, uh, we, with someone uh, from here can, uh, wants to have some questions. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I already finished my proof. He or she I can do it, but yeah, or, or, I'm worried, uh, the people will make more questions in the final because, yeah, yeah, or, 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 or if you finish the, the, the people the... <laughs> in a general sense.
but uh, you can go on. No, 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 I already finished. This is the end of the proof. So... Hello? Um, 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 you can go on, Sha. You can go no, on. No, no, no. I, I mean, the proof is finished here, so. I... Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, let's uh, just a moment. Sha, I will enter in the meeting by my cell phone in order to you see the audience from here. Just a moment, please. Okay. It's because there are a diffraction twelve and over sixteen. So I I thought that you you have more for slides. Sorry. Uh, just a moment. Okay, just a moment. So uh, here it's the audience. I don't know if you can. Guys, uh, you uh, can you see the audience here? Okay, so let's thank this this monster talk from from Sha Shao. Thanks, Sha. So this was our first Ibridi edition of our seminar. So I I will stop the recording.